Hello awesome viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in this video we are going to discuss how we can handle web table in Selenium. Specifically, if you want to find any value in a given web table. For example, this is one of the web table which I can see in W3 schools. If you want to validate that Mexico is present or not in this web table, how can I do that? Without any further ado, let us start the video. So let me inspect this element. So this should be a table and we have ID as customers. So first we'll take so web driver manager. So web driver manager dot chrome driver. We'll run the test in chrome dot setup. First we'll do that. Here we'll get driver dot get. So I want to navigate to this particular page. Here I'll declare web driver driver. So driver dot get I want to navigate. So as soon as you get it here, I want to validate whether Mexico is present or not. I'll just write one method. So I'll write uh, I'll write check whether value is present in web table. So this is my method. So here I'll pass this value. We'll write outside the main. So I'll write public. So it should be boolean. It should write true or false and it should take string value and I'll write just value and here boolean val equal to since it returns the value so we'll write here public static boolean the value this will have a written type as false so here I have to get the column count and row count right so I just have to find so I have to find here row count and then column count. So how we can find row count in row count equal to driver dot find elements by. So I'll find elements by here I'll write x path. So if you see carefully, so x path here, so this represents rows. TR represents the rows. So if I add an x path here like this. So table, so this is the entire table. So if you want TR, see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is the first header, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, I'll copy this. So I just want to paste it here. And I want the size. So size will give me the row count. Okay, what is the column count here? So if I write driver same functionality, so let me see here. How do I find the columns? So these are the columns. This is the first column, second column, and third column. So basically there are three columns here. So if I just take the headers, so one, two, three. So what is I'll take th up to th I can get. So if you copy here like this, so 1, 2, 3, that's it. So I'll copy this. I'll paste it here. So I'll get the column count. So here I got the row count. I got the column count. Now here I'll write for loop. So int i equal to 1. i less than. We have a row count. i plus plus. Similar thing. I will take one more loop. Where we'll go up to j plus plus. So int j equal to 1. j less than column count so I'll copy this I'll paste it here so this should be J and this should be J plus plus okay one more one more loop we got here I want to so I'll write string so value we are passing here equal to so how I can how I can get a value particular value so I have to get TR and in that I have to go TD. So based on this, so this will be the row value. So if I go TR2 here inside that, so if I T TD, so I'll be getting the values TD1, TD2, TD2. So like this, I have to copy. So make sure I have to get from TR that is 2. I have to go to the program. So I'll write. So I'll place it here anyway. So I'll write driver dot 
find element so i want single element so each and every time okay so driver dot find element here i'll write by dot xpath so xpath i'm defining here like so xpath here i'll write double quotes from the beginning instead of writing two so i'll write it here i plus one and then get text and here plus j value so id customers you can give in a single quotes here yeah? so if you want to write the value we are getting the value or not so let me write the value here return type should also be there if val dot equals equals ignore yes of our value then i'll return true okay else you just return from one more thing we have right so driver equal to new chrome driver so chrome driver we have to write it here after launching i'll write uh, so as soon as we get the driver so i want to check for the timeout and page load so i'll give it here open bracket and close bracket so let me run it now run as java dot application so now it should be hopefully it should find the element yeah see it found the it was printing everything see so it returned false why you can see i have to give less column count have to be equal to else it won't take the last row so let me run as java dot application now it is getting all the val right let's see the back end here see it found the mexico and it returned true so we can refine the code more so i can write here boolean checkpoint something like that i can specify this checkpoint as false initially so i'll write it here checkpoint equal to true and return so i want to always write the checkpoint so as soon as we get the true uh break the statement now if i run it as a java application hopefully now i'll get the result just as true let's see the back end yeah launch the browser do the settings and now we should get true value here that's it so i'll add this uh, code in the description hope you have liked the video guys if you like the video please click on like if you are new here please click on subscribe till then guys take care have a great day bye bye